Ted Fleming is the country's top psychiatrist. Using his unique brand of psychiatry, he's helped over 2,473 patients within the last six months alone. All my husband wants to do is sit around the house with his buddies, drink beer, watch the game while I'm in the kitchen making cordon bleu with grits on it. He never wants to take me out anymore. We just sit around the house. He doesn't want to take you out because you're a stupid bitch. Now pay the receptionist and get the hell out of my office. Ted is amazing. He sees me for who I really am. She's still a dumb bitch. And then my dog left me. I, I couldn't believe it. I just woke up one morning and Reginald was gone. That, that's my dog's name, Reginald. Do I have a drinking problem? The hell with you. Of course I don't have a drinking problem. Do you have one? Oh my god. You, you don't think it's a name, do you? I mean, I know it's not the normal dog name, but I wanted to go with something a little bit different. I wasn't listening. Hey, speak up, you dick. Come on. Yeah, I hate my patients. They're all a bunch of damn idiots. Is that asshole still here? Some clients have recently complained about your exuberant charges for your services. What do you have to say about that? Well, let me tell you something. I do charge an exorbitant amount of money because you get what you pay for. That's the problem. You understand what I'm saying? Dr. Fleming, he helped me understand that I need to live for the moment every single day. And I'm doing that, you know. I'm taking better care of myself. I start training for Ninja Warrior. That's right, Ninja Warrior. I've even, I've even built my own training course. You know, Reginald, I love that dog, and, and he'll be missed. I mean, maybe he did run away because I named him a stupid name like Reginald. I should have named him, you know, Fluffy or, or Sparky or Trigger or something. But, um, you know, well, you get what you pay for with Dr. Fleming, and he, he really helped me understand that. I would love to have his babies. Give me some of that baby pudding, Ted Fleming. I love that man. I don't think he knows I have the key. I kind of come in here sometimes when he's not here, and when he's at work. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell him, because I kind of like to just make myself at home, put a woman's touch in. The... Now, I like to look in his windows at work. If he's drinking vodka, I know he's going to sleep heavy. I can come lay down here beside him. doesn't know I'm here. Ted recently, however, ran into a little trouble with the IRS. Yeah, I like working for Dr. Fleming. I'm just a receptionist, but, I mean, it pays good Susan, money. Susan, ma'am, settle down, please. IRS Denver Branch, I need to speak to Dr. Fleming at once. We have a invalid 1040 form. I'm sorry, he's in a session right now. I need to speak to him at once. Excuse me. Step aside, please. And I think that's the moment I knew. She didn't love me anymore. Yeah, well, you're a damn idiot. Go suck on a bag of dicks. What do you want? Dr. Fleming? IRS, Denver. Shit. Did you get my letter? for defecation of tax papers. For what? Who do you think you are, sir? I'll tell you who I am. I'm Dr. Ted Fleming. That's who I am. Who the hell are you? Denver Branch. I'm just doing my job, sir. 
Oh, come on. Look at you with that stupid suit running around like this. Huh? What's the matter with you? Are you nuts? Get a real job. Get a life, buddy. You stupid idiot. Dr. Fleming was right. I am a stupid idiot. What am I doing with my life? I'm going to start, I'm going to get a new job. I'm going to start a baby zoo, get some baby pandas, some baby belugas. You know what? I went and got my business degree. I didn't want a business degree. I wanted veterinarianism. 